What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Getting Technical, episode 61 here with Burke. What's going on? 61. I thought it was 62. Is it? Am I wrong? No, no, no. no. You're right, because I remember last week we made a big deal about having 60 episodes. I honestly no, you're right. still you're be right. wrong. You're 100% right. I'm going to double check either I'm, way. I'm, I'm going to tell you. Check. You don't need to double check. You're 100% right. I actually don't even know if this is accurate. Let's see. Did you both 60. Like, 60. Like <laughs> Blaze, we're just we're just here. We're just we're, some we're guys talking having, football. Yeah, we're just some guys talking sports, Blaze. Yeah. So you know, week two wrapped up. Uh, I don't know. It was all right. It wasn't fun, anything I special. It, I thought it was a fun week. I mean, a big couple big upsets. Saints upset. The uh, Vikings upset. I mean, the Giants weren't upset, but that was funny to watch. <laughs> Um, the Giants the weren't Eagles, upset. They just forgot Eagles. to have a backup kicker for their injured kicker, yeah. so they lost. The Eagles, the Eagles got upset. There was there was some decent upsets. Oh, the Ravens got upset. By Ravens the fucking got upset. Ravens. I think this it's just, a fun week. It I don't just, know what you're talking I, about. I think I'm falling victim to like I I, I miss passing yards. Uh, I love passing yards. My bets love passing yeah. yards, <laughs> and that's why they're not hitting at all. Um, yeah, I don't know. Br- I just feel like a brutal week on FanDuel. I will say that. But so bad. Like it, it was, was like it wasn't even like usually. You know, you missed by a leg. I wasn't even missing by a leg. It was like not. In, not I was like, lucky if like, one like hit. Yeah, remote. Like not even <laughs> remotely close. It was brutal. I, I had like a like a five or six leg like anytime touchdown, and I had three right off the bat. I think it was like CD. DK or something. I, I don't remember. And there was one other guy that hit like right off the rip, like first or second quarter of the one o'clock. And then that was it. The, the, yeah, the I, other the other three were just like, yeah, I'm just going to stay as far away from the end zone as possible today. Yeah, I think I hit uh, the Steelers. It was like minus three and a half. And then they I hit like good. a Falcons Eagles like parlay for like basically a little nothing. Cody Brown action. Cody Brown. No, I, I, I Cody tailed Brown one of Cody Brown. Cold. Yeah, I tailed oh, one of his bets. It, it wasn't even Cody close. Brown. I think Cody one Brown leg hit. Cold. But, yeah, I mean, we got a lot of teams that are 2-0 that I don't think anyone was expecting to be 2-0. So I wanted to do this little thing called pre- Contender or Pretender. Mm, so this little thing. Contender, Pretender. First up, Chargers, 2-0. Pretender. Pretender, 100%. Absolute Pretender. Uh, Steelers. Contender. I mean, the Justin Fields aspect on the offense, I think, adds, like, a lot. And that defense is still, like, top three. Yeah, I mean they it's played just, the they played the Broncos this week weekend, so like it's a little bit hard to tell. But like, like I said, like they, I, we said this already, they were a nine or ten win team with Kenny Pickett. They're so, definitely a team that no one wants to see in the playoffs. I don't know if they're no, like this. Their no. offense is going to struggle. I think like Justin Fields is just not that good. Yeah. I don't even know if Russell Wilson's come once, back soon. Once they start, like I think they're getting the offense kind of like slowly, kind of rolling. I think it's starting to kind of pick up its pace a little bit. It looked a little better this weekend, but I think if it can kind of get like a little bit ahead of steam, I think it's going to be they're going to be putting up you know 24, 27 points, yeah. and their defense is only going to let up. Uh, contender 10. or pretender? Seahawks, another two and O team. No, it's Geno Smith. The biggest pretender, I think, it's on this G- list. It's they, Geno Smith. I love Geno. But no, no, I, I, I think the Char- I think the Chargers are the biggest pretender. But I mean, the Chargers like they're I don't know. Uh, they just beat the Panthers and like who they play week one. Like who did they play week one? I, I'm sure it was. Yeah. I'm sure oh, it was. They beat the Raiders week one. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, let, let's let's uh, let's relax way, here. Both pretenders. Uh, contender or pretender? Vikings two and zero. Sammy D. Sammy D. The prince that was promised. <laughs> Oh my god! I couldn't be happier for a human being on this planet than Sam Darnold. I think that's how just like, every Jets fan feels. For absolutely, Sam Darnold. every Jet fan knows that like his struggles were just all on the Jets. The the team was horrendous. The coaching staff was horrendous. That man was let down by that entire organization, and he's he's really showing that when he has like a, a good supporting cast around him, that he could be a good fucking quarterback. <laughs> And well, even if like Justin Jefferson got hurt during the game, he's fine. And he's, I know what I'm saying. Like he he left the game, and they still and won. he still played. He still played well. And like beat the 49ers, yeah. yeah, with no Addison, no Hawkinson. So he's going to be getting weapons back. Like he, I think Addison might come back this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it's like kind of in the middle for me. I don't really think they're pretenders at all. I think they're a good team. Yeah, contender. I don't know either. But I mean, listen, are, are they going to make team. a big playoff run? No, but do I think that they can kind of? I think they could be a wild card team. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. I don't think they're gonna flounder. Yeah. Uh, contender or pretender? Saints. Another two and team. They beat the crap out of the Cowboys. <laughs> they really Their did. Their defense looks good. Alvin Kamara looks good. Uh, true. The new Derek, offensive Derek scheme. Carr, Derek Carr. Derek Carr looks good. He, he looks I good. Mean, they, I don't know what's going on. They've it's, got um, good weapons on that uh, offense. Like he's, he's playing like it's a contract year or something. Like he needs to go out there and earn a bag. But I, I don't even know because that team's good, bro. It, it's it's shocking the world. They got to be. 
they got to be the most shocking contender on the this first list. week. I'm not like they played the Panthers, but right, you know, they, yeah, the but Cowboys they, are yeah, a good team. They, they, they beat the they crap just out beat of them. the brakes off of them. Uh, and then last up, contender pretender, we got the Bucks two and zero. Baker, we talked about him. Our absolutely, clip line, you know, did absolutely, well. definitely contender I, I, to me. I still think they pull out the division. Yeah, it's just it's, there's too know. much firepower on that yeah, offense. I, mean, I even think Bucky Irving looks good. Yeah, I think, yeah, like you said, there's just a lot of weapons. Baker's looking good. A Todd Bowles defense is always going to be good. So uh, I don't see where you go wrong with this team. Holy crap, the Mets just put up a nine spot in the bottom of the fourth. Nine spot? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, the Mets are hot right now. Dude, they're, they're insane right now. They're, they're also playing fun. the Nats tonight. But I mean, Lindor still, should who's, be all right, their, so who's, their, who's their last series against it? They just... They played the they Phillies. Did. They won the first, and then they lost two. They lost two out of three. They've got like the best record in baseball over the past like four months. Since like they've the, been legit good for a while. Yeah. Savvy, you called it. I, I was Guy's telling him he, he just needed more time to like get sharper and get his stuff back because yeah. when he his last his last month like September with the Yankees last year he started to look like his old self again. I just was getting a little worried because he hasn't pitched as many innings in a long time. I know. So I wasn't we'll sure how, how he would last in the dog days. Oh, right honestly, now, honestly, every. Uh, there were a lot of people talking about David Stearns, and I wasn't sure. He's made a lot of good picks. Jose Absolutely. Iglesias has been insane. The I guy mean, gets like two or three hits every night. Yeah, like yeah, like three twenty. Yeah, playing I mean, consistently. And, and it's crazy because he is a Gold Glove shortstop, yes. and he doesn't need to play shortstop. And I was, and you are gonna have a Gold Glove shortstop. We were. T- I was talking with someone. I don't know who. I was like, I'm not mad. Like I like Jeff McNeil. I th- obviously, he's having a horrible season, but like. Playing Glaces every day is like gonna oh, be it's, beneficial it's for the absolutely. team. Like right absolutely. now, he's better than Jeff McNeil. Oh, 100 percent. Um, I mean, we we, we, we kind of touched on the Saints. I don't really think there's too much to say. I mean, Derek Carr, he looks great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a, a lot of obviously a lot of people were gonna just sit there and just say that they'd probably be you know next to the Panthers is one of the worst teams in the division. It's just they're. They are just beat. I couldn't believe how, how badly they just fucking beat the Cowboys. Screwed my parlay. Yeah, you know <laughs> what? The Cowboys but, money line. But you know, a, you know, you know, what else, you know what else it really helped out, though? My fucking Baker over Dak Prescott prediction, where I was like, Baker Baker is him. The fucking, uh, what you call it? The Cowboys suck. No one likes Dallas. Fuck the Cowboys. <laughs> Honestly, the Saints. I'm so happy the Saints absolutely. They're still gonna them. find a way to win like ten I, games, but they're, 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 not, they're, 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 they're not doing. They're anything. still a good team, but I was just so happy. But I mean, that division is now kind of open, like because even even with the with the Eagles going down, you know they're only one and one. You know the Giants. Giants are zero two. Yeah, right. Come All on. right, please. Don't, ask, don't ask stupid questions. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can Plays we talk it. about the Giants Plays for a second? like that one, but I, even but like even Washington, like if they can get through some of these like tougher games, like even with a rookie QB, they can pot- potentially um, sneak into a wild card in that division. Maybe. Maybe. I got to say one thing about the Giants, like they're they're bad, right? Like bad. they're just bad. But the thing is, like that's crazy. Is like I always thought Dable was a good coach. What they did this weekend, they should have won the game. I they I had think, their Graham Gano's got what a groin injury. Yeah, that they was, didn't think to put another kicker on the roster, like yeah. just in case. I, I mean, it, and it's, then Dable in the post game interview was like, uh, he was like, well, he hurt his hamstring or something. He didn't actually hurt his groin. It's like I, that's one thing to me that I don't even understand yeah. at all. Why you have, you have an injured why does kicker? One kicker even, in general, like if I'm if I'm a team in the NFL, I know you, the the spots are very you know you don't want to just give a spot to anyone. Right. Having a backup kicker just in case, at least someone who could kick the extra point. I don't even. It's yeah, like you're it's like well, these teams like kind of like there's a chance these guys get hurt and punters, no one ever seems punters to. Punters should be able to kick extra points and vice versa. I mean, your yeah. kicker should. Like, you have one fucking job: kick a ball. <laughs> you're gonna tell me you can't do both? That is absolute horseshit. Absolutely. At least, guys, at least extra. Those points. guys should be able to do. I'm, yeah, I'm not saying bang them from 60 yards if you're if you're a punter, you know, or have like 70, 80 yard punts if you're a kicker. But you should be able to punt the ball 55 yards if you're if you're an everyday kicker, and you should be able to hit 35, 40 yard field goals if you're a punter. It just makes no sense. What are you doing the rest of your time during practice where you do your how many punts are you possibly doing during a practice? And I actually, where it's like you can't practice some field goals? I saw a stat that there was a few teams. Uh, not a stat. I don't know what the hell that was. I saw uh, someone tweet or talk about there was a team last year who was punting. I don't know if it was the – it wasn't the Jets. 
The punter wasn't even practicing because he was punting so much. <laughs> I think it was the Jets because he was, was punting Jets? so much. This might have been two years ago. Like Zach's rookie, not his rookie year, but yeah. Punters, I don't think they do that much. There's no, they're there's, probably just working no, out. They're probably just working out. No Stretching, way. Like there's just, no way you're doing enough at practice that would warrant you to not practice field goals or at least extra points. There is extra just and, and vice versa. There is no way you're doing enough special teams work that you can't practice punts as a kicker and field goals as a uh, as a punter. It is absurd. Yeah, I, I don't get it at all. Um, but you know, I the giant season is just like Dable's just he's gone. That was like the to me, I thought which, he was gone regardless, but that which might sucks be the icing on the I, cake. Like, like that, I I get all that malpractice but there. That team is just poverty right now, and I don't think it's really Dabble's fault. I, I you know, it's, yeah, when you suck. have no talent, how can you coach guys that really half of them don't belong in the fucking league? <laughs> They're practice square squad, uh, squad players. Daniel Jones is a practice squad quarterback. <laughs> guys, trash. Basura, Blaze. He's basura. <laughs> All right, let's talk about another terrible quarterback. Bryce Young benched. Right move. I Honestly, mean, I don't know. I, I, right move. Here's my thing, though. How can you develop a guy when you when your but, offense but, looks but like that's that? What I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to say about that. Is like, at this point, if you're looking at the past few years and you're looking at a guy like Zach Wilson, you're looking at a guy like Bryce Young, at this point, does it even make sense to draft like a quarterback with a top pick no. if you can't protect him? No. Because these guys are – okay, if you're going to draft him – don't start him at least, right? Because bro, like these guys, Let it's him, just gonna ruin their mental. It's, it's going, they're running for their lives. It's Caleb Williams right now, but he's it, running for his life every play. It's you know the argument people always have: Do the Packers and the Chiefs have the right philosophy? Where it's you draft your guy, let him sit behind the veteran for a year or two, while you build up the rest of the roster. Like, if you think Bryce Young was your guy, that's fine. But you can't say Bryce Young is your guy and then not allow him to sit in a pocket where his entire life he's been on these championship caliber teams. He's been on great teams and all of a sudden his world just collapses around him. He's never going to develop. He's never going to be able to read defenses, see how things develop in games. He's never going to be able to do it because like you said, it's snap, drop back, immediately bootleg yep. because I'm running away from some defender who's Bro, already pushed he, back five yards into my face. He got absolutely Cracked. Sure. On one of those plays. I, I, didn't, I didn't watch anything. He was running cause... towards the sideline. He just got absolutely. Oh, that's the one. Like he ends up, he starts like pointing, like ah, pointing the receiver terrible, down the field, he and just, then he got just, gets, he just gets slammed from behind. Bro, it's like it, it's, it, it's 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 like so you were saying. bad for these guys. Like because like like you're saying like it's just like they're going they're coming from these programs and being in high school like they're not getting they're not seeing anything like what they're seeing in the NFL, no. especially and because like, they're. We're like high school. They're the best athlete by far. College, Bryce, they may not be the best athlete by far, but Bryce Young was out there just balling, doing his thing. He was the number one pick. Regardless of what people like thought he should have, shouldn't have been, he was the number one pick, and it's because he went out there and dominated – and now he's he's on a team that can potentially be beaten by Georgia and Alabama and all these teams <laughs> in Texas. And it's it's got to be an absolute shock to a guy who has never had any kind of struggles like this. It's the same thing. Like you were saying, Zach Wilson. 100%. How, how and Sam you, Donald. Like I was going to yeah. say Sam too. Like you, any of these young quarterbacks. How can you develop a guy? Jo, I mean, Joe Burrow's injuries are all due to the fact that they just refuse to go get an offensive, uh, line. An offensive line for him. Joe Burrow's career is being shortened. Because they refused to go get protection for him. He there's they're they were showing clips that, that water bottle, he was struggling to pick up a water yeah, bottle he hurt his wrist. because he hurt his wrist and it's not healthy, it's not fully healed. And it's I don't know if it's I didn't really watch the game either, but he didn't play well. They lost, and people are saying, like, is he is he just playing hurt because he's getting paid so much money and if he's not out there, he's just you know, what what is he really doing for his team if he can't be out there? And he's not the kind of guy to just sit around and and you know, not help his team win. Yeah. And it also, the optics of it look even worse because you start these guys like a Zach Wilson or a Bryce Young, and then all of a sudden, like, the the narrative for people who aren't watching the games and just see the stats are like, this guy just sucks. Right. But in reality, he might he might still right. suck. This, uh, Zach I Wilson can, probably sucks. I, but I could also. But show, also, they're I not put in a position to succeed. I could show you the clips and games where Zach Wilson's protected and guys are getting open and he's putting the ball on their chest. You know, he's sitting there. He's comfortable. Same thing with Bryce Young. It's you know, but it's also the effect. 
You know, Sam Darnold's going to a team where he's protected and has weapons. Geno Smith went to a team where he's protected and has weapons. There are guys that this happens to where they, you know, they start off rough and then they find a new, they can find like some new little sliver of a team that'll protect them, give them weapons, and then they can produce some things. You know, are they going to be Hall of Famers? No, but can they be, were they much better off than their original, than their original teams? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, Bryce we, Young might just have to wait for that. We can talk Sam Darnold now too because, uh, well, let me see, do I have to reset? No, we got like four minutes. Oh, um, actually, I got three and a half minutes. Should I just reset it? No, give me three minutes of Sam Darnold glazing. I mean, bro, that throw <laughs> to Justin me, Jefferson just was let crazy. Me, just let me glaze Sammy D for three Darnold minutes. Darnold might be the most underrated QB in the league right now. I mean, absolutely. He's like a legit like starting quarterback he, right now. He looks like one. It's He's looking every bit of that number three draft pick. Every bit of it. I mean, he has, like, he's making good throws. He's standing in the pocket. He's he's beaten who people think is the number one team in the nfl you know so any kind of i mean it's also two weeks but like fluke talks and like oh like you know their week one win was whatever but this week two win was a fucking statement because they didn't just win like they dominated the whole game and they beat the 49ers that's what i'm saying they, <laughs> they beat the niners who people were like oh this is the, you know everyone is making excuses for the jets uh, losing to the niners so barely oh it's the best team in the league best well then the fucking vikings just went out there and beat the shit out of them yeah you know, made him look bad, and this and Darnold looked great, and Darnold looked fucking great. His only once again, he had an interception. I think it was a tip ball. Yeah, but you either know. way, he's playing without Jordan Addison. There's no T.J. Hawkinson. Justin Jefferson, Jefferson gets hurt. They right. still win the game. And fucking Aaron, didn't Aaron Jones get banged up? Mm, or I, I, mean, I know Ty, he fumbled. I know Ty. I think Chan- Aaron Jones fumbled into Ty the Chandler, end zone. Ty Chandler had a good game. They fumbled. Aaron Jones fumbled into the end zone. Just I, honestly, like I said, like we said. There is no happier people on this planet than Jet fans because if you had to deal with Adam Gase, I, I was looking at it earlier today. His best receiver was Jamison Crowder, who came in like his last two years. His first two years with the Jets, oh my God. His receiving core was laughable. It was so bad. Laughable. And he had he had Quincy Anuno for one year, but once again, Quincy Anuno was hurt. You know, I think he had maybe 10 games of Quincy Inouye in his career, which was an absolute shame. But then it was like Jermaine Kears. I, I mean, guys that I, I, I you don't even remember. You, they don't. They never belonged in the NFL. No. Never belonged in the NFL. And no O line and a terrible defense to boot. So it was just a recipe for disaster for Sammy D. Yeah, but shout out to Sammy D. Now he's bowling out. Absolutely, Prince. Uh, that was promised. All right, let me. And we're back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Let's see if my pitching is going to do anything. What do we got? Uh, I got. Who are you playing this week in fantasy? I'm playing Mr. Nick Labasso. Nick Labasso. All right. I'm gonna. I'm up on that, but you need to qualify. I qualify. You... Dude, like, bro, my team is doing really well right now. It's only Wednesday, and no, this is just doing teams. a tad bit better. Well, just in the RBI category, honestly, that was that was the big falter in my team. They just stopped hitting the last month. It was just abysmal. Yeah. That's abysmal. Right. Um, Cardinals. Cardinals. Kyle looks good. Your boy Marvin Harrison Thank looks good. God. <laughs> oh, my God. I needed that. Dude, I was we were sitting at the bar watching that game, and Kyler throws the first touchdown. And then the second, and I was just fucking <laughs> like losing just fu- my Kyler mind. Too? Yeah, I have the stack. Yeah, stack Kyler and Marvin Harrison. In, in our league? Yeah. Nice. And oh my God, I was losing my mind. <laughs> it, it was just so funny because, you know, like you made the joke uh, last week, you know, bust. I was, <laughs> I was joking. I, I know, I know, but I was just like, <laughs> every, but like there were people saying it because they were showing some stupid stats. You know, they show the next gen stats. He was he was the slowest guy. He had the least amount of separation. They were like he was the slowest guy, but he ran a four four at the combine. I was like, how is he the slowest guy out there if he ran a four four at the combine? <laughs> you people need to stop with the freaking next gen stats and all this nonsense. It's just they get absurd. They get absurd. And then he goes out and he couldn't have been more wide open on some of the on um, he had four catches and Three out of the four were just obscenely wide open, mm-hmm. and they were going, "Oh, he gets the least amount of separation." That last, well, that, that first touchdown, I think, was that the one where he dove and kind of extended. I think first? that was the second one. Second one, the that second one was crazy. Yeah, like bro, he extended like six yards. Yeah. His arm I mean, just he's like, a big fucking guy, he's dude. Huge. He's it's just he's gonna be really good. The two, the two of them getting sixty points. Fuck you, Wolverine. Absolutely. <laughs> 
absolutely made my made my day. <laughs> if Kyler can really like, we talked about this too, and there were people who commented on the TikTok like, "Oh, Kyler, Kyler, he's got to prove himself." It's like the guy hasn't been playing for a while, right. but I, these, if he continues to do what we we think he can do, he's a top ten quarterback in the NFL. Right, and we both said that. It's not that we think he's bad. No. And I ended up looking at the stats. He hasn't played a full season since 2020. Granted, 2021, he missed two or three games, but it was just like, that's still not a full season. Your quarterback needs to be out there for 17 games. He can't be out there for 14, 13 games because those games they lose because you got a backup in there that makes or breaks your season. You know, it's a short season in the NFL. You can't be having, you can't be taking games off. You know, Kyler needs to show something. I don't care what, what you say, like, oh, like, Four years ago, he showed us something. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Well, it's the same thing with uh, the yeah. Joe Burrow thing. I think the Joe Burrow yeah. thing is it, it's, I, it goes I, back to the line as well. But the the Joe Burrow thing, yeah, you know, he's getting towards quote unquote bust area because he can't stay healthy. Regardless, you know, I we're saying it's the old line, but he needs to produce numbers in order to not be a bust, right? Yeah. If you're just not playing and not doing anything, and even now, so far this season, you know, he's. Hasn't been good. No. You know, and there are people making this argument. Joe Burrow doesn't have two elite wide receivers. You know, it's because T. Higgins is out, so they can double Jamar. Joe Burrow looks like shit. Because if he can't get the ball to Jamar and he's got nobody else to throw to, he doesn't know what to do. Yeah. You know, good quarterbacks make make receivers better. Mm -hmm. You know, and. I agree. uh I got another 15 words or less. 15 words. You think Uh, Burke can do it this time, boys? uh Well, to be fair, you were also only giving me one or two words, and like, it's like they were just guessing them for me. So if you gave me like a couple more words per thing, then maybe it would. All right, here we go. Here we go. Done here a little go. better. So fifteen words or less. Right. Week two of the NFL season edition. All right. First one, the real deal. This one is pretty easy. Saints. Bird. S- bird. Oh, Kirk. You said bird. What are you talking about? Red. Red? Are you talking Kyler? Marvin Harrison? Yes! <laughs> like, bro, like, what? You go, bird. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> the initial real deal. The real all right, all right, deal. Next, next, next. Chef. Chef? Chef. Somebody was cooking? Or is that the Saints? James Cook did even early. Muffin. James Cook had a 30 piece? Oh, yeah, on Thursday, right? Muffin. Chef Muffin. I need another word. You probably didn't even write a third one down. Quarterback. Chef Muffin Quarterback. Jeez. <laughs> Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole Chef Muffin. I should have said undefeated. I should have said undefeated. I don't know. Uh, you should have right, said right, anything next, else next. besides this one's, chef. So, this one's easy. Benched. Ah, uh, price. Ref show. Chiefs? Yep. Surprisingly winless. Surprising Ravens. Yeah, Burke's on a roll. Well, oh, because now you're giving me fucking like a sh- baker, chef. Nail polish. Two, two entirely different things. Nail. No- okay, oh, God. <laughs> Loser. Relegation. <laughs> <laughs> Golden. Golden. I have no idea if this was less than 15 words at this point. Saints? Like, yes! Burke ends on a heater! Burke got the what? He got the last one, two, three, four, five. He got the last five, easily. No, six. I, I don't know. Did, Blaze. Blaze, the, the baker one. Like, <laughs> she goes, Chef Muffin. <laughs> like, he's baking. He's I baking. Know, after that, I was <laughs> what, what was the first one? Oh, the real deal. The real deal. <laughs> Sick. What bad. the it fuck was, does that mean? It was bad. The was real bad. deal. Evander Holyfield? What do you want me to say? Uh, <laughs> the game terrible. is mad funny, honestly. I mean, what, what was the one you said? Like, surprisingly what? Surprisingly 0-2? Surprisingly uh, undefeated. Def- surprisingly, surprisingly, surprisingly winless. Surprisingly winless. The Baltimore Ravens. I was gonna. I wanted to talk about them and the Bengals being winless, but I mean the Bengals being winless it, is them losing to um, the Chiefs. But they lost to the no, Pats no. Too. I'm saying they lost to. Oh no, who, Pats week one they lost to the Chiefs. Ah, that's uh, yeah. So losing to the Pats, 
Honestly, isn't as bad now that the Pats are also are the Pats two and zero. No, the Pats no, are one and one. They lost in overtime to right. the Seahawks. They're, 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 they're not they're, bad. But they're they, not bad. but they, but they look, good they're looking a lot better than people thought. I'm real. <coughs> Jesus Christ, I'm nervous about that game tomorrow. Thursday night primetime game against the fucking Pats. Baby. I don't love I don't like anything about that. I think Bob Sala is gonna fucking bend that offense over. Back it's coming off back to back short weeks. Wait, no, yeah. Monday night. They played on Monday, Monday night. Monday to Sunday. Okay. Monday to Sunday. Then <laughs> Sunday to Thursday. They're just getting killed with that. I mean, listen. It is what it is. You get paid the big bucks I, for it. But you get paid the big bucks. Uh, I, I, I don't think. know Ravens. Uh, the Ravens for like both these teams lost to the Chiefs, which isn't really crazy. Right, but losing the, to, losing to the Raiders. <laughs> to that boy yeah. Gardner Minshew. That boy just wins football games. I don't know. <laughs> I like. I, I love Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew just wins football games. He's got I mean, Brock was, Bowers looking like a stud. He should have still been starting over there in Jacksonville. <laughs> they should have never drafted Trevor Lawrence. No, I'm joking. But, I like um, him. He's good. But I mean, Gardner Minshew is good. But they sh- the Ravens he made the playoffs last year. Listen, the Ravens should not be. Who, oh, because he took over for the Colts, right? Yeah. It's like once again, yeah, like he wins games. He was winning games in Jacksonville. He was winning games in Indianapolis. Granted, it's one win, but he just beat the fucking Ravens. You know. So I mean, I, I don't know. I the the Gardner Minshew hate. Aiden O'Connell ain't doing that shit. No. The fact that it was such a close competition through training camp is is weird because Aiden O'Connell was horrible last year. He was for a rookie with that team around him, he was he, he wasn't was good, but he wasn't terrible. Like, he was Devontae Adams. Bad. And you had Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers, and that other kid Mayer who was also a first round draft pick as a tight end. Yeah, which is they went back to back first. And Josh Jacobs. Ends. And Josh Jacobs. Yeah. Like they have, they had weapons, and th- and so far Zamir White, Zamir White looked really good running the ball. So I mean, they have weapons. Aiden O'Connell just sucks. <laughs> He's a rookie. He just sucks. Who do you think? Who do you think is your most disappointing team right now? I mean, uh, it's, the, it's probably the Ravens. You think? You don't. I, I you don't like, think? Uh, like to me, like I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Uh, for some, maybe it's because I'm not worried about them. Obviously, it's an awful start. And losing to that team is bad, but I'm not like super worried about the Ravens. Like I think they'll be fine. I think they'll still win 12 games. Like I, I don't think they'll lose many games for the rest of the season. But I don't know. I think the Jags to me, like starting off 0 and 2, I didn't have high expectations, but 0 and 2 is brutal. How are you gonna, are you gonna say that that's the most disappointing team if you don't have high, ex- high expectations? Because <laughs> it's so, so early. I don't know. I. All right. But I, also, I, 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 I would say that I, I would actually also say the Cowboys. What happened to them? I. I I know for a fact they're not going to be that good this year after watching that game. No. I mean, the Rams, too, being 0-2. The Rams, that's... but then you could blame the injuries. Like, I was going to say Rams, injuries, brutal. Injuries. I don't, actually, the more I think play. about it, I, I don't feel like this really... It's got to be the Ravens. The Ravens are the only 0-2 team where it was like, holy... Dude, losing to the Raiders was bad. Losing to the Chiefs in Arrowhead, fine. Losing to the Raiders... Unacceptable. What do they have next week? They got the Cowboys, Bills, Bengals. It does not get any easier that for the is, Ravens. That is brutal. The Ravens need to basically win on Sunday. Yeah. 0-3. And then they still gotta, they got to play the Bucks. They got to play in Cleveland, who Cleveland looked a lot better this week. That's a win against the Broncos. Uh, who knows, actually, these days. Um, yeah, I mean, they still got to play the Bengals, Steelers. They, still, they got to play the Steelers twice. Eagles. Got to play the, the Eagles. Eagles. Actually, maybe the, the Eagles blow. I don't know about all that. They they the still won. Blows. They did win week one with Jordan Love in for most of the game. Yeah. Just, I don't think they're that good. I, I listen. Kirk Cobain's don't fuck around, bro. You don't fuck around. You like that. Yeah. And then, I mean, I just, if we want to talk fantasy, I saw this. Uh, I saw it online. I was like, <laughs> these three kickers, so Brandon Aubrey, Fairbain, and Boswell, have outscored in full point PPR. C.D. Lamb, Tyree Kill, Bijan, Marvin Harrison, Mike Evans, Kyron Williams, Stefan Diggs, Amon Ra, Derek Henry, John Taylor, and Garrett Wilson. There's more, but I'm not going to list all Jesus. these people. But, bro, like, I, those it, are it, all co- first round picks. <laughs> it goes back those to are all like first round fantasy goes, picks. Where so far, two weeks in, you're better off having Kaimi Fairbain. Yeah, <laughs> but, it, but it goes back to like uh, what we're saying, like with the with the throwing and the offense. It's like 
I don't know if it's the defenses or the guy at the offense is just being ass, but like, bro, well, I was they, saying these, this all to these some... teams are settling. It's like they're, these guys are kicking like five field goals a game. I was saying this to somebody. I also think that offenses are starting a little slow because they're not playing as much preseason. Isn't it just one less game? Well, it's not even that. I'm saying like, I, starters I, really I, don't play I feel at like all. the starters aren't playing. Like they used to play like up to a quarter of, of football. Which, you know, getting out there and getting actual game reps, like you can do as much practice against even against other teams. When they know that they're in practice, there isn't the same kind of edge. It isn't the same kind of intensity. Getting out there, even if it is preseason, there's just something that's a little bit extra, I feel, for these guys. And I think it shows in these offenses that are coming out a little bit slower. Like Defenses can take a couple weeks off and still come out with the same kind of intensity. Offenses need to kind of get a rhythm and flow. They need to get their play calling under under um, some sort of structure, timing between receivers and quarterbacks, offensive line um, getting in sync with protections and everything. There's a lot that goes on that for offenses need to consistently be out there where defenses don't necessarily have to do all that. Yeah, You know, defenses can – for some reason, just practice together and kind of have the same kind of ebb and flow week in, week out, even if they take a week or two off. But offenses really can't do that. Yeah, it's uh, – the game just feels a little different this year. I don't know. I And, and it's weird noticing that from – I feel like it's from fucking losing bets. But, uh, yeah, I like, but like I said, you know, it's I, – I think it's just slow starts to you're just needing reps. Plus, you have a few teams just having rookie QBs out there. Some defenses, you know, are just a lot better than we thought. We also suck at betting. It's just <laughs> we definitely <laughs> suck at betting. Uh, it's just a lot of factors that go into this. You want to do week three predictions? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Week three NFL predictions. So, tomorrow night, we got past Jets. W for the Jets. I'll go with the Jets, but I, I don't. Let me get a little Jet Life W, please. I, I do not feel great about it, but I'm going to go Jets. I think uh, we fucking murdered Jacoby Brissett. Giants, Browns, Browns. Yeah. Their, their defense is just too good for the Giants. You, you're in Cleveland. Don't fucking look at me <laughs> like you're stunned. That was the game he was waiting for. That's why he went apple picking last week. Oh, right. You went apple picking because you thought they were going to beat the fucking Browns. I couldn't get it. Like, there's no Saturdays available. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put it on Sunday. All right, Crazy. next. Eagles, Saints. I'm going Saints. I don't know about the Eagles. Their I defense did, I looks did, terrible. I, I think the Eagles bounce. I think, I think the Eagles. Alvin Kamara runs all no, over the Eagles. I think the Eagles bounce back here. Texans, Vikings. 3-0 and oh for the Vikings. Why not? If I'm going to go If ups- Jettas is healthy, I'm going to go Vikings. If Jettas and, and Addison... Vikings. Uh, Broncos, Bucks, Bucks. Bucks. Packers, Titans, Packers. Packers. Bears, Colts. Oof, what a terrible game this one's going to be. It's um, not going to be high scoring. You're going I'm going to give the Bears I'm going to give the Bears the first one. I'll go Bears defense. I, no, they won. They won their first week. They, oh, they, they, did, they, they did. They did. Remember, they like, did. Yeah, they <laughs> They like their defense game. was just Slo- Yeah, they didn't score an offensive touchdown, right? The Bears might have a top 5 defense in the NFL. Yeah, they their did. defense looks yeah, good. And Anthony Richardson, like I said, lowest completion percentage in the league, can't fucking throw the ball. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll go Bears. Uh <laughs> Chargers, Steelers, Steelers. Steelers. I, I think, think even Justin Herbert didn't practice today. I think he's got a bad ankle. Yeah, so mean, if, if, you if, can't, if you can't run away from TJ Watt, no. I don't know what you're um, gonna do. Dolphins, Seahawks, Seahawks, Seahawks. Skyler Thompson is fucking. Yeah. If they don't, I he's mean, he's bad. They're dude. gonna bring back Mike White. I think. I don't know why they cut him. I mean, either I heard like Tannehill. I even saw like a Zach Wilson trade rumor. I, they need. Dude, to, I'm sorry. If you put Zach Wilson on the Dolphins, that would be fun. I know. I would just, watch every gotta, single game. They have to do something. Skylar Thompson came into the game. I remember two years ago against the Jets. Two got a concussion. Brutal. And then they injured the backup who I forgot. I I forget who it was. I want to. I don't know. Who it, it was like a veteran guy was that, it, that wasn't Tyrod. Tyrod. I was gonna was I was gonna say Tyrod, but I, I don't remember. But <laughs> Tyrod's they, been on like. Most but they NFL injured teams. they injured him too, and then Skylar Thompson came in, and oh my God, was he horrendous? He's brutal. If they I still don't get why they cut Mike White. No, nah, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, Panthers, Raiders, Raiders. It's like it, yeah. it's not even. I don't think any, that's going to be the game that comes on well, red zone Dalton, that I'm going to get mad about. Dalton. Mm, he can't. They're not going to protect him. Oh. Raiders, Max Crosby. They're not. Dal- Dalton's Max Crosby. just going to get the ball out of his hands. Um, 49ers, Rams. 
Both banged up. I'm going to go 49ers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rams, Matt Stafford just has no weapons. I mean, at this yeah, point. it's the the Rams are just a little too banged up. This might be the game of the week. Lions, Lions Cardinals, Cardinals should be a shootout. I pray I'm, it's a shootout. I hope so too because I would love that fantasy wise. I think the Lions, the Lions pull it out I though. Think, yeah. I think they're kind of starting to figure it out. You know, offensively, like they're starting to kind of catch a rhythm, you know, so I, I think it's going to be the Lions. I think it's going to be a close game. I'm also going to go Lions. Ravens, Cowboys, I think the Ravens walk all over them. Um, I think it's the Ravens are getting their win. They're not They're not starting off 0-3. It's just not um, happening. You're thinking about it. Um, In Dallas, I even though I hate the fucking Cowboys, I'm giving the Cowboys a W. All right. Chiefs, Falcons, Chiefs, Ooh. Sunday night. I think Kirk's. I Give think me we're some gonna, Kirk, baby. <laughs> Give me some Kirk. I think we're gonna Let's start to go. see. Kirk's gonna start to figure it you out. You like that? He he's not beating Patrick. Mahomes. He's absolutely beating Patrick um, Mahomes in a game that doesn't oh, matter. We got two Monday night games this week. Oh really? Look at that. Uh, Jags, Why? Bills, Bills. Sorry, mm-hmm. Jags are terrible. I'm sorry. Why do you say sorry to that? It's a Julian. You know, if he's, well, he, he's one of our viewers. We don't have that many. Oh, we gotta, gotta look fuck. out for the viewers. We have a thousand subscribers. We don't need them. Yeah. Uh, commanders Bengals. That's gonna be an awful game, but I'll go. I guess I'll go Bengals. I'm going Commanders. I, I, I hate think every J- second of that game, but I'll go. Yeah, Bengals. I'm, I'm going Commanders. I'm going. All right, so um, hold on. I want to like keep track of this because honestly, I had a few of the upsets last week, and I'm gonna keep track of my upsets, which are so far Falcons. Are Cowboys, we, are we gonna Cowboys? count Cowboys as an upset? Because yeah, technically, they're the better yeah. team right now. Oh so, well, let's look at the spread. Falcons, Cowboys. And then I said, and I'm sure the Vikings are also underdogs. Oh, and I said Eagles over Saints. So we're going to check these FanDuel spreads that whichever, whatever I'm saying, please fade it. We're on, oh man, week three. This is what sucks because football comes around, man. It's already week three. Time fucking flies and it fucking blows, man. I, I just, football season needs to slow down. Slow down. The weather's so nice right now. The f- it is nice. Like, football season is just the freaking best in September and October. And I, it's, September's already almost over. October's going to fly by. And I'm going to be fucking pissed because I'm going to be 29, almost fucking 30. I'm going to be a step closer to 30, just angry. Cowboys, wow. Holy Cowboys crap. are the Cowboys are uh, plus, plus one, and, one a and a half. It's so not technically it's, the underdog. They're both minus 108 money line. I mean, I'm still, I'm still going Dallas. I'm still going Ravens. The Falcons being a plus three and a half. Give me that. F- I mean, no, I'm not. I'm just saying. I, I think. What what is what is the Browns uh my uh plus minus six and a half. I'm taking that. six and a half. I'm. I, I think Danny Dimes <laughs> might throw two pick six. I <laughs> might throw a pick six I, and a fumble. I would take. I would take like four and a half. Six and a half is a lot. Six and a half is a lot. lot. Like winning by winning, they have to win by the seven, the full touchdown. Although if the Giants don't have a kicker, then once again, yikes. But. All right, lock of the week. Lock of the week's the Buccaneers. Buccaneers over the Broncos. What's that? Let me look at that line. Who gives a fuck? It's Bo Nix. Well, if uh, it's minus three fifty-five, if you're going Bucks money line, there's literally right, but no I value. Mean, you there. want a lock of the but week? Minus six and a half is that like spread? Because you can't, there's no money in taking the heavy favorite. Like lock no, of the week. But I mean, are you saying it's it's Bucks there's money minus in six wins. and a half? There's money in wins, Raleigh. All there's right. no money in losses. Okay, let's see if I put a hundred bucks on this. I'm not I'd saying twenty nine. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying six and a half is a lot. The Bucks are a lock. The six and a half is not a lock. The Bucks are a fucking lock. Yeah, they probably are. Let me see. I wanted to see something. Run all over that fucking sad sack of shit of a team. <laughs> Sean Payton. <laughs> Fuck him. Put in Zach Wilson. Put in Zach Wilson? Absolutely. You know what you're going to get out of Bo Nix? Nothing. Nah, uh, they got a... They got to do a lot, but it's the same. It's the same scenario as um, Carolina, and just the weapons aren't there. You have Cortland Sutton, and that's it. Um, what's his name? Uh, Javante. Right? Javante Williams. Javante Williams needs a better O line to start getting. Oh, you need, he needs a better pass game because they can just they can just stuff the box and they can play one on one against Bo Nix, and he's just. He's not going to figure it out yet. I, I got something for Needs you. a few games. A little, little something. We're, so, PFF, you know PFF. They rate the, you know, they give everyone a rating. That's best thing. <laughs> we got the top three. Who do you think the top three highest graded quarterbacks week two are? Three guys. Top three highest rated quarterbacks. Top three. Uh, Kirk. 
No. Not in there. Um, no Kirk. Give me Aaron Rodgers. No. Justin Herbert. No. Derek Carr. Derek Carr, number two, 91. All right. Number one, you should be able Sal, to get. Sammy D. No. And Baker. No. no. Oh, Kyler. You're just, you're just, Kyler's number one, 96.9. Three, though, I don't know if you'll get unless you just start completely firing off. I'll give you a hint. He won this week. <clears throat> Patty? No. You wouldn't expect him. Malik Willis. No. Right, he had a solid right, I'll give you a hint. He played for I'm your just... favorite team at one point. That's going to give it away. He played for your favorite team at one point. I already said Sammy D. No. There's another one. There's another starting quarterback in the NFL. Oh, Geno, really? Geno Smith, 83.1. God. (laughs) Those are the three highest graded quarterbacks. An 83, 344, 327 and a touchdown? I guess. You said what? It was Carr, Geno, and and Sammy D? No. No. It was Kyler one, two oh, Derek Carr. Oh, Carr did. Oh yeah. So no Sammy D. Really? No Sammy D. He didn't make it. Not even uh, Herbert only had 130 yards. Really. Baker didn't have that fantastic of a game. Rodgers had a solid game, but nothing crazy. Did Patty have a good game? I don't think he really did. Right. Okay. No, he was horrible. Yeah. Right. Joe Burrow had a good game. He just actually Joe Burrow had a good game. Just team let him down. I guess Joe Burrow played well. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, but like even Kyler's game. I don't know Stafford. Never mind. Line two sixty six and three tutties. Brutal, brutal, bro. Marvin Harrison. Yeah, but yeah, one hundred and thirty yards of that of his two sixty six for the one guy. Yeah. I think it was a, it was a pretty slow news week. There wasn't there's not really too much to talk about. I don't think. Yeah, Hassan Reddick's still a dickhead. <sighs> the Jets are kind of screwed without him. I mean, Will McDonald three sacks though. Yeah, he looked good. He Jermaine looked really for the fucking year good. Is brutal. Jermaine after the year, their, pet, is, their rush, their run defense is brutal. It no, nah, it was a lot better last week. I mean, it was Tony Pollard and Todd Spears, and Will Levis was throwing the ball. Right, but I was saying like, it looked oh, a lot. It, it looked a lot better. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this, this is going to be like the real test this week. You know, if they can stop Stevenson, then I think it's like, all right, like we're back on track. Yeah. No, I mean, tomorrow, I, t- but tomorrow's going to be, uh, that, that's, I, I don't like to call games must wins three weeks into the season. But Every game is a must win in, in the NFL because it it's, a, it's, you've it's too, win that game. it's too short of a season. It's Every, just like setting the tone too for the whole season. Though. Gotta like set 40, the tone. 49ers, sure, you lose set to the, the fucking tone. 49ers away on a Monday night, whatever. You win the game, you take care of business. You cannot let the fucking Pats, the year after Belichick leaves with fucking Jacob Brissett, who I don't think is that bad, at home, come into fucking MetLife, which Jet is life. a dog shit stadium, Jet life. and beat, oh, it would, it'll be brutal. Yeah. That Friday will be even, it will absolutely be brutal if the Jets yeah. lose tomorrow. No good. But we're going to find yeah. out. 